Well, actually, uh, as a amateur politologist, and uh, <coughs> uh, and uh, would be a professional psychologist, well, with a uh, master degree in science of psychology uh, <coughs> from private college. Uh, actually, uh, I am sure that uh, um, we ran into problems with American psychotherapists who refused most of them, uh, not most of them, all of them refused uh, to take any Medicare or Medicare as a payment for their services rendered uh, for psychotherapy. Uh, that is, uh, and uh, <coughs> a few months ago, I uh, called about uh, 12 uh, randomly chosen uh, um, American psychotherapists, registered Los Angeles area psychotherapists, uh, using uh, uh, one of the major phone directories, and uh, those doctors, uh, psychotherapists, who returned my call, they charge about two hundred dollars per session up front as live money, and uh, they refuse to take private insurance. They refuse to take Medicare and Medicare, and uh, some of them didn't return my calls at all. And I believe that uh, those psychologists, uh, Los Angeles area psychologists. None of them wanted to, to take medical, Medicare, or private insurance, and uh, they didn't want to even uh, to consider it. Uh, you know, those guys, uh, I believe, what most of us psychologists, uh, psychotherapists, were actually um, charged too much money. And even Glendale area psychotherapist, uh, one Armenian lady, she charged about one hundred twenty dollars per hour. And uh, when I asked him if they take any uh, medical or Medicare, she said no. no. We don't take any medical or Medicare. We are outrageous. So many, uh, some Californians and many Americans as a nation are unable even uh, to, 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 you, to use medical services or uh, psychotherapists, which is very important to maintain their mental health, you know, to regain mental health, you know. Uh, and, um, uh, and the point is that uh, without with affordable and readily available on request mental health, uh, uh, American public uh, will be subject to terrorist attack because those terrorists actually uh, employ uh, mostly mentally disturbed people, mentally ill people who suffer with psychopathy, with delusions and homopathy and uh, on clinical stages and uh, who are actually willing members of a subversive and terrorist group, a racist terrorist group. And I believe uh, is not only a racist group but in romantic terrorist groups and uh, our terrorist groups that uh, based uh, uh, their membership on uh, secrecy, on um, <coughs> domestic terrorism, on uh, racism, sexism, and ageism, and our uh, right-wing extremist issues. And I believe that the uh, federal government should uh, uh, obtain legal warrants from FISA court, intelligence court, federal intelligence court, in order to... Uh, <coughs> to the long time surveillance on those subversive terrorist groups because those subversive terrorist groups are likely uh, to um, steal money from banks uh, um, bribe some public and uh, uh, corporate officials and they are capable of committing terrorist acts and in order to stop that uh, federal government should actually uh, allocate 30% of Medicare and medical to treat mental diseases of Americans otherwise those Oklahoma bombings, 911 bombings uh, uh, bright examples of uh, those uh, mentally ill people committing terrorist acts because they've been victimized, uh, being uh, um, pushed towards the edge, and I believe that the federal government should uh, definitely uh, make sure that uh, psychothera psychotherapy would be available not only uh, for prisoners who might have a psychotherapy for free. Uh, that's true. Uh, that's a great advantage. And but um, so uh, American public should be uh, have ready access, you know, to uh, psychotherapy, to, uh, to affordable psychotherapy. Not only at the expense of two hundred dollars per hour or one hundred twenty dollars per hour, like uh, American uh, South Californian psychotherapist charge, uh, but um, for cheaper uh, rates, like maybe um, forty, fifty, or thirty dollars an hour, and also um, at the expense of medical and Medicare. So it's a serious problem. I raise this problem and ask my viewers to address this problem and ask U.S. Congress to uh, legislate 30% of uh, Medicare and Medicare and also uh, new universal health insurance uh, 
uh, in order to uh, uh, to to uh, sorry, in order to um, fight mental illnesses, in order to uh, help American nation to regain its mental health, which is seriously uh, undermined uh, by deteriorating uh, qualities of uh, food and drink, uh, by by um, deteriorate but uh, polluted environment as well and also by uh, bloody war in Afghanistan and economic instability. And I believe that the uh, federal government should play c quite a major role in treating mental disease. It's a national uh, task problem, and uh, st state and local government are unable to handle this problem, except treating mentally people in jail.